All right, so here we got the start of a gamer burger. We've got beef, we've got rice that's frozen. That is probably sacrilege, but it tastes the same. We got two avocados, we've got cheese, we've got spinach that will go in the rice, along with the onions, which I hadn't mentioned yet. And together, they will make a magical cornucopia. Now I like to make tasty feasts for myself. Some of you may have seen my Gamer Grub video, and this meal here is the spiritual successor to that. Now I don't really like food prep since I'm a very busy and industrious gamer, but you can easily do all of the burger prep and vegetable chopping yourself. But also you want about 90%, 90. Now this is because I'm not grilling them, I'm cooking them in a pan. A grill is better, so if you have that, use it. And 85 or even 80% lean is fine, but if you cook 80% lean beef in a pan, it'll be a fatty, mushy mess. And I even was gonna add a touch of my own oil. We're going sesame oil. Open sesame. I did just literally open sesame. Bruh. And we put a little bit in, not a ton, just enough, get everything moving, you know? Right here. Okay. Oh my god! It look- uh oh. This looks a little uneven. I need to fix this. BRB. It was like not on pro- oh, yep. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Guys, the shape of the oil just- <laughs> Kinda looking like a pea! Basically what we want to do now- I began unwrapping my burger meat and took a look at my seasonings. Ooh, that's expired. Okay, so we got some Brazilian steakhouse seasoning, and I found this big chonker of salt. In all this time, watch. This is gonna be, it's gonna flow like water, like lava in the nether. See that? That means it's, it's ready. So, now, we got the beef. This stuff slaps. Okay, so I'm, the, you just, the more seasonings you have, the, the better the flavor, everybody knows that. With the oil heated and the burgers seasoned, it was time to start cooking. It's hard to do this with one hand. That's what she said. Love that, that was really, I didn't even have that on camera. Okay, let me do this one then. I'll do this one on camera, All right? Oh yeah. I like missed, oh, oh my God, I need to go faster. Okay, season, season, season. The oil is too hot, it's spitting. So we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down the heat. See that move, see what I just did? Boom, lower. Oh, I love that. Okay. Right there. Oh yeah, this is loving the way this is looking. Brazilian steak, get, get Brazilian up in here. As the burgers cooked, I then got other parts of the meal underway. I'm gonna start the spinach first. Also, this is probably a good moment to say this is not gonna be in between bread. Now this was not a conventional burger. I much prefer eating beef over rice with a fork when I'm cooking at home. So this is gonna be like a burger bowl. A gamer burger bowl. It's more convenient and tastier to me than eating a heavy, bready hamburger bun. We can flip them again. Ooh, actually that's looking exemplary. Oh, hot. Now while I had been cooking the burgers off camera, I had microwaved the bag of frozen spinach. I don't know how true this is. Um, if a burger is leaking colored fluid, it's not ready. If it's leaking clear fluid, it's ready. You guys like the little, the little cheeky code Wellen, by the way. It smells like spinach over here and a, a cursory tap of the bag. This is a tap. That's what we call it in the biz. The burgers were proceeding well and the spinach was done. Just tuck it here. This is not good because see how there's so much moisture in here now? Um, that means they're not gonna be getting crispy. You can really mess up the meat. That's words to live by. Okay, so I've got the rice here. I next turned my attention to the carbohydrate base of the meal. The rice. Caution, hot. Okay. Boom. All right, these need to come off expeditiously. The rice began cooking as the burgers finished up. We do a little bit of that. We do a little bit, we do a little transferring. I then took the burgers off heat to let them rest for a moment. Even if they're not done right now, they will continue cooking. Oh, dude, the, the oil is spattering on my body. Let's, let's turn this back down. About, I don't even know, maybe this was, this was a while. This was a while ago. I was cooking bacon shirtless. Don't do that. Never do that. A bunch of oil spattered on me. Oh, dude, these onions are gonna be hot. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And watch. You know what? All the seasoning, all the juices is gonna be deposited for safekeeping in these onions. 
We lose nothing. The onions were soaking up all the leftover flavor. While that continued, it was time for a quick taste test. We just let him sit for a minute. I've gotten a fork. Observe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let's get right right here. I love this. Oh, dude, did I did I nail it? Oh my god, that's perfect. Watch, and it's still cooking a little bit, a little bit pink. Oh my goodness. Look at this tender morsel. Mmm! I consumed the beef. It was excellent. Everything was beginning to come together. Look at these onions. I'm just here in my house eating fuel. Gamer grub, gamer burgers, gamer slop. Who murdered the burger? I don't even know if I can see what I'm doing here. I'm just guessing. Okay, so we're cutting out of the spinach. Now we spread the cheeks. We deposit this spinach. I put the spinach in the pan to mix and marinate with the onions. This is a good amount. Rice. Ooh, it's nice and steamy. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, here we go, folks. With the rice in the pan as well, I combined them all into a tasty base upon which I was gonna place my burgers. I then seasoned the mixture I'd created. Oh, yep, 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 yep. It smells real good. We mix this up. We gotta, we gotta make sure that the seasoning's well mixed. Otherwise, you're gonna get like those, you know, like the forbidden Dorito Ranch chip, where it's like, it's in encrusted with the, with the flavoring seasoning. I have these biodegradable paper plates. Taking out this flavorful mixture of rice and veggies, I began plating it up. Plate. Another scoop. Another ladle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just lay that on there. You know, this is just the base. Okay, another one. It's well portioned. Adding cheese was the next step of this culinary endeavor. We take the cheese, the... Rustic cut, we slather a layer. The burgers were now gonna be placed upon this bed. Now, what you do is you take a burger, which are still hot, you plunk it right on top. You take this burger, slap another one on. I, I made it so I have leftovers. I like cooking so that I have leftovers because if you make a lot of grub, it just means you have to cook less. So now what we've got is we've got two burgers and they're melting the cheese underneath. Now the final step of the process remained. Avocado. I think we're just gonna have one of these. I don't know if this is working or not. I feel like it is. Oh. Look at this angle. This is a very dramatic angle. So what you do is now you slice the avocado like so all the way around. The avocado was the garnish on top. You tear it apart. Oh, beautiful. Pro tip, you want an avocado that has the same consistency as this part of your thumb. So touch the avocado, grope the avocado, and then grope your thumb. The final move. Squeeze a little avocado. Just really give it a good squeeze. I came downstairs. You guys deserve this in good lighting. Look at this. Now I can admire my creation. With everything done, it was now time to nibble. Like, look at that. That crevice is so tasty. And there you have it. Gamer burger. Time to eat. I spent some time formulating the perfect bite. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to make the perfect gamer burger. Even though it's not a conventional burger, it's a meal I enjoy eating and one that fills me up. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed and want to see more stuff like this in the future, leave a like and a comment. It means a lot. I'll see you all next time. By the way, guess who these little chonkers are? Last year's pumpkins. I've got some plans for the pumpkin patch. You guys will see.